In this clip, we're going to go through one of the most important rules of differentiation. It's called the product rule. And I will expect to you that you're really, really familiar with it. Here's a function. We'll do it first generically, f of x. And let's say that function is the product of two functions of x, g of x and h of x. Now, this is very abstract as it is right now, but we will soon fill it with life. But before we do so, I just tell you what the result of the product rule is. If we have such a function f of x as stated, then f prime of x, the derivative is g prime of x times h of x plus g of x times h prime of x. Okay, so this is the rule you just have to know. There's no way around it. Let's fill it with some life. Here's an example. Let's say our function looks at follow, as follows. f of x is equal to the log, the natural log, importantly, the log of x plus x squared and then times three times the exponential of x minus x. So how does that apply to our case here? Why is that a product? Well, look at the yellow part. That is sort of one function and that's multiplied with another part, the green part. That is another function of x. Both yellow and green are functions of x. So in terms of our rule, as we stated it in our abstract form, the yellow part is g of x and the green part is h of x. So to proceed from here, we know that to calculate the derivative f prime of x, we will need g prime of x. And let's calculate that. That's 1 over x because that's the derivative of ln x plus 2x. So what we applied here is the addition rule of differentiation. And what about h prime of x? We will need that as well to apply the product rule. Well, let's look at uh, h of x. That's the green function. Again, there's a sum, even if it's a minus sign, it's still a sum. So the derivative of the first part is 3 times e of x minus 1. That is the derivative of just x. So basically we now have all the ingredients. We just have to assemble them together. We have g of x, h of x, g prime of x, and h prime of x. And after all, f, for f prime of x, these are just all the four parts we need. So from here, all we're gonna do is just put it all together. So let's start with g prime of x. Well, that's one over x plus two x. Now we need to multiply with h of x. That's the green original function. So 3e to the x minus x. So now we need a plus and plus g of x. g of x is just the original yellow function, ln x plus x squared times h prime of x. And that we calculated over there. That's 3 of x minus one. So here you go, this is the solution. It's as easy as this. Of course, now you should test yourself. Here we have a function. We'll just call it m this time. And a fun it's a function of y. So m of y is given here. 5 times e to the y times 7 times ln y. We want to know the derivative m prime of y. Pause the clip and test yourself. So here's the solution. Here are our two functions, the green bit, the yellow bit. 5 times e to the y and 7 ln y. We can proceed as methodically as we did before. We first label the green part as g of y and the yellow part as h of y. And if we state what our product rule requires us to do it requires us to assemble m prime of y as g prime of y times h of y plus g of y times h prime of y so g prime of y 
is 5 times e to the y, hy is 7 times ln y plus gy, that's the original function again, 5 times e to the y times h prime of y, which is 7 times 1 over y, 1 over y being the derivative of ln y. So that was pretty straightforward again. As long as you know the product rule and as long as you can calculate the simple ingredients, h prime and g prime, you're all good.